Good morning, you guys. So we have been having so much fun settling back into a rhythm here in Florida. And a couple from our retreat is actually staying nearby. So we've been sharing some meals together. Last night we made chipotle bowls and we went to fruitscapes, got some fruit trees, and it's been so much fun and so refreshing just to get to share time with like-minded people. Last night, Michelle and I were talking about an idea for this week's YouTube video. And she said, well, the thing that attracts me to you guys and your channel is just how colorful and vibrant it is. So maybe you should do a video on how to live a colorful life. And that really resonated with Dusty and I. So today we're sharing the most colorful version of ourselves, which honestly tends to come through in most of our videos, but even more so today. It's spring, almost summertime. A lot of you are probably freshening up and doing some cleaning around the house. And for us, we are in the process of transitioning from house to home. So we've been adding a lot more color and vibrancy and fresh plant life and floral arrangements throughout the home inside and out. If you're wanting to add more color into your life, it truly starts with what is on your plate. So you guys know we eat a high raw diet, lots of fruits and vegetables in their most natural state. So we're gonna start with a fresh juice and a smoothie bowl, fresh fruit plates, delicious rainbow salads, and something colorful for dinner as well. So we hope you guys enjoy this video. If you are inspired to add more color to your life, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, join the Eat, Move, Rest fam. We would love to have you here with us on our journey. And be sure to leave us some love in the comments below. And as always, you can follow Dusty and I daily and see what we're up to on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. Yeah, yeah. Back on a, uh, scene, got a lot of dreams, lift me up. So I can kiss the good life, live in love. Feel like the first and fifteenth for the month, uh. I got to live it up, yeah, for the rest of my life. Throw it over here, I'm rolling both dice. I got the green lights, I got the whole tight. Cause I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so alive. As we take you guys on a ride through the rainbow today, we are placing a heavy emphasis on green for our juice this morning. We always do green juice when we make juice. So we've got a full head of celery, two large cucumbers, some colored greens, a handful of dandelion greens, which you can actually forage from your own yard. We did not do that though, but these are extremely beneficial for cleansing and detoxifying your liver. We've got a handful of dino kale, these are all amazing sources of antioxidants and they're very alkalizing. And we've got some parsley. Herbs should always be added to your juices because they're very potent. We've got a lime instead of lemon and we're gonna do a couple green apples. I always tend to add a little bit extra green apple juice to the kiddos just to get them to drink their greens as well. And then we always start with a ginger turmeric shot. So I add about this much ginger, about this much turmeric. We'll add some fresh cracked black pepper to optimize the absorption of the curcumin and the turmeric to maximize its benefit. And along with that, I usually add like just a little bit of citrus juice to kind of dampen the spiciness. So yeah, Costa Rica is so colorful just by its very nature. It has some of the most abundant, beautiful birds in all the world. And it's very life-giving from the fruit to the flora and fauna. It's just a beautiful place. And we've really wanted to bring more of that vibrancy into our home. In the past, we've always kind of played it safe with our neutrals and bright whites. I feel like our home still has that fresh look, but we've brought in a lot of plant life and color which has really helped us to feel more energized and alive. When I dumb it down, I just feel like every single color evokes a different emotion, a different mood, a different vibe and feeling. And when you combine all of them, you really get this symphony and it just helps you to feel so alive from the inside out. So whether you align with or believe in the chakra system or not, 
I feel like we all know that color evokes emotion. Every single color has a life of its own. Even advertising agencies will select certain colors or their brand labels and logos based on the mood they're going for. So what is your favorite color? Think about the color that you're most drawn to and then think about why. It's really interesting. When I was little, I was always super, super drawn to like a bright, vibrant orange color. And as I got older, I became more drawn to like a turquoise slash aqua color. And I've been doing like some reading on what those colors mean and what it can mean for me and my personality type. So it's kind of cool if you do some research on it. Okay, so I am guilty of being like an all black kind of guy, like black tees every single day. But I have to admit, Aaron has been having a positive effect on me, not just with diet over the years, but yes, even what I wear. So I'm wearing more colorful clothes, certainly colorful watches, hats. I mean, from the pictures that we hang on our walls to the pillows that we're putting on the couch, Aaron has been slowly brightening up our life and just making it more vibrant. And it really does affect my mood. It affects us as a family. It makes us feel so alive, energetic, and it's just beautiful. Like let's surround ourselves with beauty. So we just finished a little pool time. We had some fun in the sun and now it is time to get cleaned up. And then we have a play date at a playground with a friend that we made at library story time. So that should be fun and then we'll come home for dinner. So yes, since coming home, we're still riding on this high from Costa Rica. We are feeling so vibrant and just full of life and health and abundance. And just having a colorful, happy home really truly contributes to the overall mood and tone here in the household. Over the last few months, we have definitely been transitioning from house to home. And while we're not certain how long we'll be here, we are really enjoying the process and I think the biggest, most important thing was getting some family photos finally framed and hung. So we teamed up with Level Frames. A big shout out to them for making our most beautiful family portraits come to life on our walls. It just has totally shifted the mood in our home for the better. So the frames are a beautiful natural wood. We went with a little bit of a white matting to make the photos really pop. It was difficult to find a framing company who could frame photos this size. And I really wanted large photos because our walls are enormous. We have super high ceilings. So level frames definitely delivered above and beyond our wildest expectations. We have one family photo in our room hung from here in Florida and then another one from our trip to Maui, which has always held a special place in our hearts. It was the trip we went on when I was pregnant with Max, so that was kind of like our baby moon, so Maui is definitely a gem. And then another photo from back home in Nebraska. So these are special places, very near and dear to our hearts. The thing that I love most is that the Level Frames website is so easy to navigate and to pick and choose to customize the exact piece of artwork or photography framed that will fit your home perfectly. I love how customizable Level Frames is. You can pick everything from the color and width of your frame and matting to the size of your overall image. Definitely something I've tried to do in the past and failed miserably at. So Level Frames was super streamlined and made it so easy to place my order in minutes and it delivered super fast too. We're super happy with the overall quality and like I said, the biggest most important thing was it shifted this from house to home and added so much color and life into our home. So I'm already excited to get back on and check out their gallery walls. They also have collage frames so you can really tell a story with your photos. This would be the perfect opportunity to get a super special and meaningful gift for Mother's Day for yourself or for a mama bear in your life and we got a special 10% off link for you guys in the description below. All you have to do is click the link and the 10% will be automatically applied at checkout. Last night we did Chipotle style, so I'm having a little bit of leftovers. It's so good. I made homemade fresh salsa that we picked up from these local tomatoes at Fruitscapes. You want a bite? Mm -hmm. We've got sofrita style scrambled tofu, and then we have black beans, sweet corn, brown rice, cilantro, lime, all the goodies. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. yeah. Should we cut another one? There's more on this one. Yep. This is saw palmetto, which 
traditionally has been used for male and female reproductive organs and it's actually currently used in supplement form for urinary tract problems like an enlarged mm. prostate can also possibly help with hair loss so it's pretty cool and it's growing wild all growing over. wild everywhere and we like to clip them and put them in vases yeah. inside because they're just so cool it's like a little leaf bug hey i am out here watering our new plants we got so much good stuff yesterday at Pine Island. I'm so excited about growing our own fruit. Woo, fruitscapes! <laughs> Come buy trees from us. There we go. Yeah! We go. Mango varieties. There we go! So the difference between the root suckers and the spears yeah. of the banana yeah. are that at the base of your banana tree, Yeah you'll see something that comes up that's pointed like this sure with yeah. very thin leaves okay and that's called a spear and those are gonna fruit within a year oh wow maybe a year and a half if you see something that comes up that's about that same size yeah and it has leaves that are wide and look just like a big banana it looks like a mini banana that's a sucker that's a sucker and that's okay. gonna take much much longer okay. to fruit so trim it. So you want to hack those off yeah. down below. Make sure you get them all removed from the base of the plant. Yeah. And keep the spears. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what we need to Very do. Very important Good to know. I feel like yep. suckers. All right, my favorite way to eat noni is putting it in a jar and sealing the top. And over the course of two to three months, it'll ooze. Polynesians believed that the eyes of the noni fruit would see into you and see the medicine that you needed yeah. because they're such powerful nutritional superfoods. Wow. wow. That's the way to do it. Look. The black one? Mm. Does it come off easy? Ah, uh, try this one. Go wipe your hands, yeah. We'll wipe our hands. Maybe you want to try one? So we have some mulberries in three gallon pots for $40. Do you want to take one home? Our really? first. Did you just move? Everybody we know. Yesterday we got some super cool stuff. Let me show you. So we have papayas. We got this um, Okinawa sweet potatoes and this Indian creeping. Uh, ground cover spinach which is really cool I really like the idea of like edible landscaping so I'm gonna plant these things throughout the yard we've got a key lime we've got a jackfruit we've got a mulberry tree right here we've got a star fruit and of course our bananas that we've had growing for a few months already quite a few months actually and then of course my favorite are the tropical flowers. So this is Frangiopani or Plumeria. I'm gonna plant these around the pool too because like Aaron has been talking about, adding color to our lives is something that is so important and so fun. Also to kind of spice up the big like empty wall on this side of our house, I planted this Bougainvillea. I had it in the backyard, but I don't think it was getting enough sun. So I transplanted that and this one that isn't quite as big yet, I planted them back here on these big white walls because again, I want some color. I want to see the color. I want to see the flowers. I want to feel the tropical vibes. This is Mandevilla. I've got this growing everywhere. We've got our fig tree that's already producing figs. And of course the big palm trees like everywhere that we're loving. So this is our early season mango. This is the carry. This one should be ready by around June. And there's only one. There was another very promising one, but Max picked it. This is our Super Alfonso. This will be a little bit later season. I'm not sure when. Probably late summer, but these are looking really good. We may have to thin it out. We're going to do a little research on that. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. This is our passion fruit vine. The flowers are like so exotic. We've got about three passion fruit right four. here. There's right at here. least four on this vine. 
I'm excited that we have any at all. So yes, our backyard is coming alive. I've been landscaping now for the past couple of months. We've put some work into the garden and we've got passion fruit vines, bougainvillea, mandevilla, and jasmine. When we were gone, our dog sitter texted and said, what is this amazing smell in your backyard? And I told Aaron, our jasmine is probably blooming. It looks so beautiful and smells incredible. And the mandevilla vine is going like crazy, which is really cool. Just loving the tropical weather and being able to plant and be outside year round is so, so nice. Okay, you guys, so this dinner is so good. It's unreal. It's something that we've never done before, but had always talked about doing. It's a coconut peanut butter curry, and it is probably our new favorite. So you guys know that we absolutely love Thai and Indian dishes and curry is one of our favorites. If I'm being honest, I hadn't had curry until I met Aaron and it has changed my life. This recipe is so, so good and you guys can find it in our recipe app. If you guys haven't already signed up or downloaded the app, you can find that on the Apple and Google Play stores. Seriously guys, check this one out and all the rest of our recipes on the app. We have started such a good habit of praying over our food with the kids and it's so sweet to see them get into it and be full of gratitude. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. So much love. We hope you're inspired to bring more color into your life. We'll see you guys next week. Until then, eat, move, rest. Your best. Peace. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.